So I was uh, part of the, the technical committee who has uh, revised the, the code. And uh, so we defined last year the what, but now it is about the how. And this is equally important because you can have the best codes uh, in the world, but if you're not defining the rules of the game, then uh, it's not credible. So this is an immensely crucial aspect. And it's really great to see that all the people or most of the people who have contributed to define the what, that they are also now defining the how. So I think it's, uh, it's working extremely well. I think it is so crucial to make sure that, you know, the coffee sector has a general understanding, a general framework to relate it on. And again, there are always these two components and a lot of people always focus on, on the code itself, on the technical aspect. But if we are not deploying it and we, if we are um, having com a different understandings, how to work it out, then it is only half, worth it and uh, and this is why this is such a crucial element and uh, and the other element you know it's a, it's a side remark to have these technical discussions with the different committee members is helping also to generate this this common understanding so i think this is a, is a great indirect way of, of aligning so we are on our journey towards 100 percent responsibly sourced coffee and uh, we are using, you know, a lot of different uh, standards, but we want to make sure that whatever standards we are using is based on, on, on common principles. And this is where, uh, let's say, the code is so important, but not only the code, but also the equivalence mechanism. We want to make sure that, you know, also suppliers, uh, private standards, labels, that they are relating their code according to what, what has been uh, developed here. And, uh, and that gives a natural uh, a benchmark and basis. And this is for us very, very crucial and important on our journey towards 100% responsibly sourced.